In this guide, we're going to see how we can access the URL parameters when working with a React application, and we're going to use React Router to do it. So right up here, it, whenever we go to our application, right now we just have a couple basic routes. We have the home route, and then we have the about route. But now what if we wanted to have and needed to have a dynamic set of routes? So for example, if I wanted to have some route that looked like this, where I might have it where it says like client and then slash and then some big client key, something like this, and I need access to this key value. How can I get that? Well, that's what we're going to walk through in this guide. So I'm going to come to our switch statement and I'm going to create a, another route here. So for this route, I'm going to call this one our client detail route. So this is going to be client and then slash and then here we're going to define an ID and this the name that we use here is important so if I wanted to use client ID I'd have to name it that I'm just going to use ID and then we're going to be using this ID parameter to grab this in the component that we're going to be using it in. So right now this is using the about component. So let's create a dedicated client component and I'm going to call it a client detail component. I'm going to go into a pages directory here and call this client detail.tsx and then I'm just going to use a snippet I have here and this is going to be a functional component called client detail. Now, right now, I'm just going to put a div tag and I'll say client stuff. In a little bit, we'll be grabbing that ID and then it's going to be placed on the page here so that we can get access to it. Now, let's wire up the client detail component with our app. So coming up here, I'm going to copy the import about and say import client detail from pages client detail just like this and then the client detail component is what I'm going to use inside of this client route. So this is everything we need from a routing perspective. So now how do we get access to this ID? So if, for example, if I come here and now I can actually use that URL. So as you can see, I have client and then this made up ID. If I hit return now, you can see this works. So this is doing everything that we'd want it to do. This is redirecting to the client detail page component and it's rendering that detail. But how do we now get access in this component to those route parameters? Well, that's where React Router comes in. So assuming you have that installed, then what you can do is say import and then the parameter we're going to want to use or the function we're going to want to use, it's a hook and it's called use params. And this is from React Router DOM. And then what we're going to be able to do with use params is we're going to be able to call this and we're going to be able to say const and we can just say something like params and then call use params as a function here and it looks like we're getting a little error here so let's see what that is it says module react router dom has no exported member and so let's check really quick with our package json file to make sure we're using the correct version and okay this is a typescript issue so if you see this so i know that i'm using the latest version of react router so i know it has this the correct value in it it has used params as an exported module so why is it not working well 
it's because of the React router DOM type. Right now, we're using 435. So if you ever have this happen, and I'm leave, gonna leave this in the video, not edit it out or anything, because you may have this happen to you as well. The way that you can fix this is go to the NPM registry, and then look for the type that you're trying to fix. So in this case, it is types slash React Router DOM. So search for types slash React Router DOM. And as you can see, it is actually up to 5.1.7. So in order to get access to this, this is a TypeScript specific issue. In order to get access to use params, we need to upgrade our type. So we can do that by going into the package JSON file and just replace this version just like this. And now you can stop the server type npm install it's going to get that updated types file now you can type npm run start start your server back up again and now this should be showing up so if we go back into client detail you can see that use params is now working so that's all working nicely so now now that we actually have access to the hook how can we use it well the way that we can is we can call use params down in the function like this and then let's let's see what we have access to so i'm going to say client stuff and then inside of curly brackets here i'm going to say params and just to be safe, because I'm not exactly sure if this is going to return an object or if it's going to return, you know, some other data, I'm going to say json.stringify, and this is just for debugging purposes, and then that's going to give us the, that params object. So I'm going to hit save here, hit refresh, and there you can see that params is an object, and it's an object that gives us that ID value. Now this is really important because if we go to our route definition, remember when I said that that ID naming was important? If I did want to use a different name, like client ID, like this, you can see that that switches the name. So that's a really important thing to know because I've seen other tutorials that just kind of gloss over that fact and people think that this parameter is always gonna be named ID. It's something that you define. You say what value you want it to be. I do want to use ID, so I'm gonna switch that back. And then inside of our client detail, we can actually use a little refactor right here. So instead of calling const params equals and then calling use params, I can perform destructuring and I can just grab the ID just like this. And then uh, TypeScript does want us to give us a, or to kind of define what values are there. So it says ID is declared, but it's never read. So we'll, put that in here and then TypeScript now is going to say that ID doesn't exist on the property so we can say that it does so we can say const ID and we'll say this is going to be an object that has ID of string just like this and now you can see we have access to that ID. So we now have access to the params. If I go up and I change this, so I say that, you know, now we have some different type of ID in here. Now you can see that we get access to that. So that's how you can get access to the params using React and React Router DOM. And now that our component has access to those params, now it can do something with that data.